We all have moments where our worship with the Lord becomes routine. Our prayers become distant. We start to pull away from the Lord. Maybe that's what's going on in your life with COVID-19 right now. Everything is being tossed in the air. And in the midst of all the transition, maybe you found yourself just kind of pulling away from the Lord. Maybe it's the, you know, coming in person to the worship service or even watching online and you say to yourself, like, that's too risky to come in person and watching online just feels weird. And so you slowly start to disengage from a worship service. I mean, that's pulling away from the Lord. Or maybe it's the community groups. It's on Zoom. It's just like, oh my gosh, Zoom. I'm on Zoom all day. Another Zoom meeting. It's like, what? I didn't understand. Didn't work. Technology. And you just, you say to yourself, like, I'll get back to I'll get back to it when COVID-19 goes away. I get it. I feel it. You need to know that's pulling away from the Lord. And when we do that, like we're, we're taking the Lord lightly. Just like we see in 2 Samuel 12, when we take the Lord lightly, what we start to do is we, we start to kind of justify our sin. That's what David's doing in 2 Samuel 12. We start to excuse it. We start to rename it. We start to say to ourselves, it's not that bad. I mean, it's just this little thing. You know how tired I am? I'm working so hard. Look at this person over there. They're scary. Like, it's no, I'm nowhere near as bad as that person over there. It's not that big a deal. And we all do it. It's pulling away from the Lord. We're making light of the Lord. You need to know that in those moments, the good news is that in those moments, there are going to be consequences The consequences aren't to be punitive, but it's the Lord wanting to restore us back to himself. That's the Lord's ultimate purpose. In 2 Samuel 12, that's the Lord's ultimate purpose in our life as well. He created us to worship him. He made us in his image. He has called us to himself through faith in Jesus. And when we wander from him, which we will, He will do whatever is necessary to draw us back. 